Hey folks, Coach Grandpa here. Right off the bat, I'm not a lawyer, although I have watched a lot of Perry Mason. I mean the real ones back in the 60s, so I'm proficient on 1960 criminal law. And I'm not an instructor, as you all know, although I think I know more than half of them. <laughs> or I take what they tell me and can the rest and only use what applies to me. And for instance, you know, it's hard to find a course in self-defense with a six-shooter. You can take all the kind of courses you want in trying to get ready for those competition that you can get in with these guns. And I'm not into that, you know. So I remember a long time ago taking, having a guy show me basically how to run with these puppies. And back then, they didn't, they, there's tactical loads and there's emergency loads. But back then it was called re, to top it off and then you have your emergency reload, but when you're totally out. And he taught never to go totally out. You're supposed to really go three, find cover, re-up, top it off, and then engage again. You never want to run dry, as they call it. Go completely empty, emergency reload. Although it may have to happen. But watching on YouTube trying to find something on how to do loading, I'm not too thrilled because he told us never take our hand off the trip, the pistol, your strong hand, never take it off there. They kind of show this on reloading. And that kind of totally against that. So that's not what they showed me. So today at the range, I wanted to do this at the range, but gosh, it got so windy wind picked up you know I couldn't really get good audio going so I had to delete those videos so I figured okay I'm gonna give you an opportunity to see how I was shown in the right strong arm how to do a reload and maintain where you're at and your spent rounds so like right now I went there and I shot three rounds in my last video you'll see I shot three rounds and I took my threat down so now it was time to reload or top it off. And right now that means I have a spent round right in front of the hammer and then I have two spent rounds on the right hand side of the cylinder. So once I open the gate, I can access the second round. I can't get to that third one. This does not back up. I'll have to go all the way around to get to that one. But I can get that one out and reload, knock the next one right behind the hammer out, move it over, knock that one out, reload to where I only have one more round to come back around, knock that out, and then reload. Then I'm topped off. And it's supposed to look like this, and speed is not a big thing. They never taught us speed. <laughs> Basically, they thought you'd be behind a rock <laughs> when, you're, when you're doing this, or you're pretty low into a valley or a ravine. So once you shoot those three rounds, we're never supposed to cock unless we have a target. You know, you don't want to have to decock. So that's why you don't engage unless you have a target and then you cock and then you fire and then you don't cock again until you have another target. So when I'm looking for another target, I'm not cocked yet. I haven't cocked. I've been trying this new cross hand. Back in our day, it was all one-handed. They showed us all one-handed. So I'm trying to show this new two, and it's getting kind of confusing. I got a train, but ammo so expensive. So, so after the three rounds, the my threat's down. I identified there's no more. I want to top off now. I don't want to be able to switch hands. It's keep the right hand dominant. You flip it open. You pull it. You plunge that first middle one out. You grab your round identifying everything, you put it in. You slide over, you plunge the one that was just behind the hammer, you grab around, identifying everything, because I can always close this gate and start engaging, because right now I can start shooting. Close the gate, start cocking and shooting. Now I gotta find that last one. So now I go open it up, I'm gonna swing it all around, there she is. This is my workspace. Get this last round. These, this one's in a tough spot. Don't drop it on the ground. All right. 
Now I'm topped off. And that's how we were taught. So it was none of this in this hand, open it out, plunge. That's all I see on uh, YouTube nowadays. Kind of scary. I don't like disengaging my strong hand from my pistol or my trigger. All right. So remember, I'm not an instructor. So take whatever I say with a grain of salt and basically kind of shake your head. Don't put bad comments. All right. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks.